let's talk about supplies now. So for upholstery jobs like this, you are gonna need at least a few supplies. So you are gonna need some heavy duty sewing scissors. Now, I like these dressmaker shears by Ginger. I think these are the eight inch. <clears throat> they are a very heavy duty. They give a nice clean cut. Um, I especially like these for upholstery fabric, especially thick upholstery fabric because it gives a nice clean cut. I do not recommend trying to use office supply scissors meant for paper because they are not sharp enough. You're probably not gonna get a clean enough cut and it may even snag your fabric and pull it. So even if you don't have heavy duty dressmaker shears like these, at least use some scissors that are meant for sewing. And as a side note, never use your sewing scissors for paper because it will dull them. The next thing you're most likely going to need is a staple and tack remover. Now, if you're not planning on removing the existing fabric from your chair, then you probably don't need this unless you make a mistake, then you're gonna need this to get that staple out that you wanna remove. You can find these at a lot of craft stores, fabric stores, upholstery supply shops, even on Amazon. I've linked one below if you're looking for one. They are usually less than $10 and it's just a really great thing to have because as you see, it can get under tacks and staples and you pry it up and it just makes life a lot easier than trying to use pliers or something. Now, when it comes to attaching your fabric to your chair, there are a few ways you could go with this. Um, the most common way is to use staples. So you may have seen something like this. It's a spring-loaded staple gun. I got this at Joanne Fabric a few years ago and it will do the job, but honestly, it's not my favorite thing to use. I find that these spring-loaded ones jam very easily, even if you're being super careful and using the right staples. Um, typically, I only get like five or six staples in before I get a jam, which is very, very frustrating. Um, if you're only doing a few dining room chairs and you're not planning on doing more upholstery in the future, this may be the most economical way to go. These are typically less than $20 to get this and some staples. Um, so you may wanna go with a spring loaded. However, if you wanna save yourself a headache of a jamming stapler and you have, or you have a lot of chairs to do, or you're planning on doing more upholstery in the future, um, I recommend highly a pneumatic stapler such as this. This was only like 44 or $45 on Amazon and it was completely worth it. <laughs> it came with the stapler, it came with the lubricant and the care kit, and it also came with boxes of three different sizes of staples to get me started. I didn't even need to use all the staples out of one box to do an entire armchair. So that to me was a really good deal. And on top of that, I have never had this thing jam, not even once not even after I did my vintage armchair project a few years ago. It made it all the way through without ever jamming. So I've linked this below if you're interested. I've been very pleased with it. So anytime you're messing with staples that are flying you know, into something by springs or compressed air, you are gonna wanna wear some protective eyeglasses. Um, I know these look super hot, <laughs> but you know, they do the job. So you want some protective eyewear. Um, if you are using an air compressor for a pneumatic stapler, you may want to consider some hearing protection. Um, totally up to you. It's recommended in general, but something to consider. And then personally, I like to wear some lightweight work gloves, not because it protects my hands from staples, because honestly, a staple would go right through these but because I find that when I'm using my heavy duty scissors or um, pressing a staple gun over and over that it tends to wear a callus on my hands. So I just like to wear some gloves to kind of save my skin from building up a callus there. So you'll also need some staples to go with your staple gun. If you're using a spring loaded stapler, you can get these heavy duty upholstery staples, um, usually in the same aisle that you got your spring-loaded stapler or if you're using a pneumatic stapler then you'll need to find the right size of staple for your staple gun as well. If you're using a pneumatic stapler you just need something that is deep enough that it's going to hold your upholstery fabric in place 
but not go too deep into your chair. You don't wanna split your wood or have something that's totally impossible to get out later. So um, it depends on the, the thickness of your upholstery fabric too, and if you're using batting and such, which I'll get to in a second. Um, I think something typically like 3 eighths of an inch to half an inch is usually sufficient. Also, if you're using a pneumatic stapler, you will need an air compressor. You will also need a screwdriver for removing your seat from your chair frame that I will show you how to do in just a moment. You'll need your upholstery fabric. You'll need some batting. You can typically find this sort of thing in fabric stores near the quilting section. This is just to layer under your upholstery fabric to give it a nice smooth edge. Now for today's project, I am not replacing the foam in my chairs just because they don't need it. They're not broken down enough. Um, if you're looking for how to replace foam in a chair, you can go visit my armchair upholstery tutorial where I show how to cut upholstery foam. Um, that can be done either with an electric bread knife or just a regular bread knife, but you can hop over to that tutorial um, under the upholstering video and I do show how to cut the foam to size for your chair. You will also need a pair of needle nose pliers because inevitably when you're taking out staples, they will not all come out cleanly and you may be left with sharp little pieces that you're going to need to pull out with the pliers. And lastly, this is my least favorite part, you will need an iron and an ironing board to get all the wrinkles out of your upholstery fabric before you begin.